Well, welcome back to the Undervalued Investor YouTube channel, where today we're analyzing another small cap company that is trading at what looks like relative discounts with the trajectory it looks like they're heading on in 2024. This is called Shapeways. The ticker's SHPWW on the NASDAQ for around a $16 million market cap. And if this is a conversation you'd appreciate, as always, hit that like button. And one of the big you know, factors that I always take into consideration is the assets minus liabilities here with $47 million in assets against only $10 million in liabilities. The company was sitting on a $17 million cash position as that third quarter in 2023, they look to be in a fairly healthy position uh, to continue to try and scale the company. You know, they're still operating at a loss, but something tells me, you know, they're going to start working this out. They have some growth initiatives and a lot going on with the company uh, to start scaling 3D printing and obviously all the computing and software that comes behind this. The company has a very diverse portfolio. We got two major softwares. When you look at the manufacturing side from 3D printing to rapid prototyping and design services to injectable molding, urethane casting, CNC machining, vacuum casting, sheet metal, machine tooling, and they work in every industry from medical to consumer robotics, uh, you know, architecture, aerospace, gaming, drug, basically every major industry uh, with dozens and dozens of materials, right? So this company is kind of at this phase where they're trying to tackle these massive, uh, massive sectors. Currently, they're claiming uh, Shapeways opportunities about $450 billion with global manufacturing market at $2 trillion. And when you start optimizing 3D printing, especially when AI software and all these other things start to come into play. There's there's real opportunity with an industry like this that makes it very, very intriguing. I mean, they've got 24 million plus parts manufactured, 1 million global customers, 180 plus countries delivered, 12 additive technologies, 120 plus material and finishes, uh, you know, 1% uh, complaint rate and 98% parts on time delivery. This is really fascinating, especially if you've ever played around with 3D printing. There was a huge craze behind this industry um, in the past that kind of, you know, maybe led to some of the sell-off in the company during the small cap sell-off. But I feel like we might be starting to find our bottoms here in the small cap market, especially considering recently we've announced some news in 2024 that Shapeways basically had 100% year-over-year growth in its multi-million dollar automotive uh, vertical. And just reading to it, they announced today a landmark 100% year-over-year growth within its multi-million dollar automotive business. Shapeways Enterprises Manufacturing Solutions continues to secure a tier one supplier and an OEM direct multi-year production volume, including a recently expanded $1.5 million contract with an industry-leading American automotive manufacturer. Basically, Aiden, the general manager of Enterprise Manufacturing Solutions at Shapeways, noted that flexibility and adaptability are key in meeting the customer's dynamic production demands, where it's rapid, uh, basically, iterative prototyping of market shifts between electric and conventional vehicle products our production sorry we are that partner and are poised to execute the oem award of the contract leverage uh, leverages shapeways expansive additive and traditional manufacturing capabilities internal combustion engine components such as cylinder uh, heads and uh, central housing are 3d printed in aluminum highly specialized interior components are additively manufactured in titanium Polymer 3D printing um, is utilized for prototyping interior trim and exterior panels, while higher volume production parts are injectable molded. It really shows you how even the auto industry is highly, highly reliant on a lot of, uh, you know, 3D printing robotics and just kind of, you know, a lot of hands-off manufacturing. We're committed to excellence across manufacturing technologies. Aiden continued to say here, this is evident, uh, evidenced by our willingness to invest in equipment to, to support uh, strategic customer contracts. In 2023, Shapeways purchased three new injectable molding uh, processes, a 500T, a 1050T, and a 2000T to further support automotive production volumes. As a result of customer demand, the company has also doubled its manufacturing capabilities in titanium, investing in a traditional GE Acrum uh, EBM Q20 series printer. Our continuous investment to support growth and our willingness to tailor processes to a customer requirements makes us more than a supplier. We're a strategic partner for our customers. Um, very expand, uh, very interesting is basically this expands contracts um, that reflect Shapeway's commitment to building customer trust and signals its growth uh, foothold in the automotive sector. Looking forward, the company's investment in high quality, high precision enterprise level manufacturing will continue to appeal to automotive customers as well as those in the medical and robotics and other industries. But I'll pass that off to you. I'd love to know what you think about Shapeways. Uh, if you think this could be a true turnaround story in 2024, I'd love to hear all about that in the comment section below. But stay cool, and we look forward to catching you in the next one.